guys, this is Steve Huff. It's been a while since I did a video. I'm here. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, some Hi-Fi products that I have in for review and I've been waiting to review them, uh, you know, because it's just a weird time right now with this virus and we've been self-isolating for four weeks now in our home um, and I've been listening to all these speakers. Let me let some more light in here, actually. There we go. So what do we have here? This speaker here is the QLN Prestige 3. And wow, these are absolutely, for me, as close to perfect as you can get in the sound of a speaker. And I'll touch on why uh, in a couple minutes. These Piano Black uh, are from Raven Audio and they are called the Celeste Tower Speakers. I have the grill off but they're magnetic like so. But these are the Celeste Tower. You're not gonna find a better sounding speaker for this price right here. Four thousand dollars a pair. These are t uh, just under ten thousand like ninety some hundred uh, retail a pair. And behind here, I have the Klipsch Cornwall 4, which I just posted my written review over at stefafoto.com. Uh, I just posted that yesterday. I have a Michelle Techno Deck uh, with a Dynavector 10X5 moving coil cartridge, which I just had put on about five or six weeks ago. This is a beautiful turntable, and you can get them for reasonable money these days. Um, I bought this used from uh, Arizona Hi-Fi. Somebody had traded it in. It's a beautiful table though. Um, it's the Techno Deck, uh, made in England. It's kind of a, you know, I don't want to say legendary, but it's a well-respected turntable for the money. Of course, here I have my Vinnie Rossi L2 ISE. This is my dream piece, basically. Um, my dream integrated amplifier. Very expensive, but instead of playing the game of, ooh, I'm gonna buy an amp and sell it in six months to a year and try something else and losing money, this is an investment for life. Uh, I've never experienced an integrated amp uh, like this. I want a car. integrated amp which is in for review from Raven it's the Osprey Mark III all tube made in the USA beautiful amps Raven audio makes some beautiful amps the sound is so oh, so tube and so good it's not that old flabby tube sound it's transparent holographic um, you know, this has two 300 B tubes in it because it uses it in the preamp directly heated triodes. This is going to give you a sound like no other because of that, but the amp section is solid state. This you have your preamp and your power um, in a beautiful, beautiful package. And the cool thing is you can get this Osprey or the Blackhawk, Nighthawk, whatever, with 
the Celeste speakers for a discount package price at Raven Audio's website. I'll have links in the description if you want to check any of these out. Raven Audio Celeste, QLN Prestige 3s, oh, beautiful. Klipsch Cornwall 4s, which are a powerhouse and just take your breath away with the immense scale and dynamics they put out. So for my digital, I have the Inuos Zen Mini Mark III, the power supply, external power supply, and the Phoenix Reclocker, which really made a pretty noticeable difference for me when I demoed it. So this is my three-piece digital solution. It goes into the Vinnie Rossi L2 DAC, which for me is the best deck I've ever heard in life. It beat for me the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC. Um, so this is again my dream piece. So here, as you can see, I've been listening. Now this is not how I, right now it's set up to listen to the QLNs. If I want to listen to the Celeste, I'll pull these out and put those into place. If I want to listen to the Cornwalls, I remove these from the room and pull the Cornwalls out and tow them in. And uh, if I sit here in my listening seat, you can kind of see what it looks like. Now these speakers here, these are the most expensive ones in this room. And I actually have more speakers out there. I have some Dynaudio Emit, Emit 20s or Emit 10s with stands, but they're not in here right now. These QLNs Prestige 3 are absolutely incredible, guys. Imagine the very best, say, uh, the very best two-way stand mount monitors. Say $20,000 range, right? You get speakers that disappear, the small, the small stand mounts. They disappear. That's what I love about them. They disappear and they have uh, holographic imaging, a big sound stage. And everything just sounds so good with a really high quality set of two-way stand mount speakers. The problem with those, like the Emmett 10s out there, there's usually a lack of bass or deep bass, or the bass you can feel in your gut, right? These give you that magic of a very high-end two-way stand mount. But they give you, they give me in this room, the best, tightest, cleanest, sharpest, most impactful bass I've experienced. These have better bass than these. These have better bass than these, and they have a 15 inch driver. This is all you have here. The bass is incredible. Never flabby, never loose, never wooly, never muffled. It's just impactful, and I could feel it in my bones at times. Um, so these are unlike anything that I've ever had in here or listened to or owned. I borrowed these from Arizona Hi-Fi six weeks ago. I wanted to try them in here and whew, they were just amazing. So I ended up buying the demo pair from the store. These were sent to me by Raven to check out. You can see that mirror finish, the piano black. Um, and these sound really good, guys. I've never heard a pair of speakers at this price that sound nearly as good as these do. Um, what the Raven specialize in, now these QLN specialize in three dimensionality, the texture, the cohesiveness, the, the three dimensionality, the, the richness of the music because you have that bass that's there and it doesn't um, in any way make the sound muffled or dark um, and it allows this sweet silky treble to come through and the music seems to just float uh, throughout space here. Now with the Celeste, you have a snappier top end, um, which will give you a little more zing, but these are sound staging champs right here. These also fill the room with beautiful music. The Klipsch Cornwall 4s are basically like, wow, the scale of these speakers is massive. It fills this, this space from floor to ceiling, side to side, with a wall of sound. And while these are not the best imagers, they don't give you the widest sound stage, they breathe music. It's like raw emotion that comes through those speakers. Now, 6,000 a pair for the clips, they're 100 pounds each, 90 some hundred for these retail 
I think these are on sale for 4,000 from Raven Audio. The Ravens, you match it up with one of their amps and you have a beautiful, beautiful system. So this is my system now. This is, I've been listening every day to each of these speakers, plus the Dyn Audios that are out there. I have another room in my house that has another system. Uh, maybe I'll show that one day. But this is my main listening room. It's dedicated for this. I film videos in here. I also, um, there's my records right there. Albums, vinyl. So yeah, I did write the review of the Klipsch Cornwall 4s. That's on my website, it's tifaphoto.com. I will have a review of the Raven uh, pairing very soon. And I'll, I'm halfway done with my review of the QLNs, uh, the Prestige 3s, which I'll just give you a spoiler right now. The Prestige 3 from QLN are probably overall the best speakers I've ever had in this room. They even beat my Sonus Faber Guarneri, the original all the way through the latest. Um, these sound a lot like the original Guarneri, but with amazing bass. Think of the tightest, most impressive bass you can imagine um, coming from a speaker of this size. It, it blew my mind, I've never seen that before. So those speakers to me are amazing, but I gotta tell you the Celeste right there, um, the Celeste doesn't have feet or anything, so they're not that secure on my carpet, but they do sound beautiful. Um, and the Cornwalls, again, man, if you like big, if you like giant sound, if you like easy to drive, you can drive those Cornwalls with a flea watt tube amp. Um, so there you go. I'm going to have reviews of all this stuff um, soon. I already reviewed the Vinnie Rossi, right? I've reviewed the digital trio here. It's all in my hi-fi section. I'm going to write up something on the Michelle soon, and I will review the Raven Osprey with these speakers very soon. So stay safe, everybody. I love you all. Um, we're going to get through this lockdown or this virus. We're going to get through it. Um, might be a little while still, but hang in there, everybody. Stay strong. Be safe. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye.